us not into temptation. The sixth petition of the Lord's Prayer is a petition that almost ought not even need to be prayed, but is always answered. We find the answer to this petition in God's promises, in His Word, in His very identity as our Father. We hear clearly in Scripture that God tempts no one. That's not who God is. That's not the way He acts. That's not what He does. If temptation is to tear down, to destroy faith and trust, if temptation is to lead us into sin, of course that is not who God is. God would never tempt us. That would go against everything that we have seen and heard in His Word. That would contradict the cross in itself. God is not one who destroys faith, but one who builds it. He is not one who tears down trust, but builds it up and reinforces it over and over again. Temptation is not what God does. Sin is not what God wants for you. Not ever. Whatever happens, happens without our prayer, but because of His grace, because of His very identity. He does not want us to be led into temptation or to sin. No, God leads us away from that. So we get in this petition this reminder that God does not tempt us. This reminder that God works to help us to avoid them, those temptations by His words, by His promises, by His very work of the cross. He arms us against false belief with his word that is always true because his name is true, hallowed be thy name. He arms us against despair by the cross and the resurrection to give us the sure and certain confidence of our forgiveness and our resurrection from the dead. He arms us against other great shame and vice with the sacraments that we might know that God is for you that He is your true Father, and you are His true, dear, and beloved child. And that there is nothing that He would do that would contradict that, that would go against that, that He would lead you into temptation is something so far from who He is that we almost ought not need to pray it. And yet we do, to remind us not to change God, not to change His mind or His will, but that our memory might be changed to know who he is, how gracious he is, how merciful he is to us through the cross, through that empty tomb, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.